for most of us, taking a shower is part of our daily routine. But if you were told you should stop taking one, ooh, how would you feel? Well, I'd finally know what it feels like to be a Twitch moderator. Nah, but seriously, though, all jokes aside, I don't think I could go more than maybe like a day or two without taking a shower. What are these people even talking about, man? Getting sick of constant negativity, searching for some clarity. Try to switch my mind around, reversing the polarity. And scuttle Yo, how's it going, broskies? It's your boy Lofi here. And have you guys ever wondered what it would be like to never take a shower, to never wash your balls, to take a fat sh and then just pull your pants back up? No wiping, okay? Like, we do not wipe in this house. Wiping is for beta males, okay? We, we are sigma males. <laughs> no, but seriously, though, I found this, like, interview of a doctor, or, like, a an actual doctor who didn't shower for five years because he was like, hmm, man, I, I, I don't think soap kills bacteria. Uh, maybe I should be that one doctor who doesn't recommend the toothpaste, you know what I mean? But yeah, before we get into that, if you guys could drop a fat like on this video and subscribe if you're new, I would really appreciate that. But yeah, uh, let's just get right into it, dudes. Because I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to know if not showering will give me level 10 riz or cause me to grow a new form of fungus underneath my armpits. One doctor did exactly that in an effort to challenge the idea of what it means to be clean. So Sunrise consumer correspondent, who is particularly clean, I yeah. might say, Sean White, has investigated. Yeah, morning. I'm not sure I'm entirely on board with this experiment. <laughs> uh. Yeah, me neither, dude. Why would a doctor want to experiment on whether or not the one thing that we've known for possibly hundreds of years is that uh, washing yourself off gets you clean? Bro, the Native Americans knew that like a thousand years ago. They would just hop in the river and wash their dick off, bro. We've known this. I swear to God. At first, they're running out of movies to make some remake and everything, and now the scientists are redoing experiments because there's nothing new to discover. I, I think we might have peaked as a species, guys. But look, I caught up with the soap scientist, we could call him, who hasn't washed for five years. Dr. James Hamblin argues most skincare could actually be doing more harm than good. You know, I'm not going to lie. I don't doubt that half the stuff that we put in our bodies is probably like, you know, insanely cancerous. I mean, why do you think Europeans always come to America and be like, oh my God, the food tastes so good. It's because everything here tastes good because it kills you slowly. But that doesn't mean that grabbing a bottle of hand sanitizer or even a bar of soap is gonna give you actual cancer. I'm sorry, but I don't remember the last time that I picked up a bottle of Old Spice, uh, a bar of ivory soap, and it said, use of this product may cause you to grow a third testicle. Use at your own risk. I'm pretty sure that using a bar of soap to wash your hands just gets your hands clean, okay? Maybe, maybe that's a crazy opinion. I don't know, though. He's the guy with a PhD trying to test whether or not using soap gets your dick clean, so maybe I should just shut up. Soap, body wash, shampoo, moisturizer, even youth serum, or beauty and hygiene products touting themselves as miracle skincare solutions are in our face every day. Dude, she's mewing. No, but on an unrelated note though, like what happened in news segments like this, bro? And every time I turn on the news, there's like a new politician who's a pedophile or like we bombed somebody like what happened to stuff like this man like unironically i used to see new scientists did crazy thing on the news like all the time why are scientists doing crazy shit anymore what happened to the mad scientist we, we need to put more funding back into the schools i want someone to make like a death ray or something a freaking animator bro and they're sort of imbued with this health lens and sold to us through the idea that they make us better and healthier and more virtuous people. Why does this guy look like he's about to call a bar of soap racist? Also, I swear to God, like, when white people get bored, they just do the craziest shit. He's over here like, yeah, I wanted to challenge the status quo. I didn't want to wash my butthole for years because... I needed to prove that the beauty industry is using washing your dick on a daily basis as a form of mind control. Come on, guys, we gotta wake up. He's out here speaking facts, okay? Every time that you've ever bought uh, some hand soap, you're actually giving in to propaganda. Stop using soap right now. Never wash your hands ever again so you can ascend from the matrix. So, author James Hamblin put it to the test to challenge the concept of being clean. You know, I understand that being a scientist means you to push the boundaries about what we do or don't know or what we think we know, but I'm pretty sure that uh, we're all solid on washing your hands, keeping you clean, dude. Like, I'm pretty sure that we're supposed to shower and maybe use some products to make sure that, I don't know, we don't smell like shit. This doctor seems like the type of guy to use crystal deodorant and watch as his girlfriend gets pounded by 50 dudes in a corner. His background in preventative medicine saw him zoom in on the science behind skin. If we have skin microbes and we're supposed to, healthy microbiome, 
you know, what are we really trying to accomplish when we are uh, washing our, our bodies and our hair? I don't know, bro. I'm just trying to make sure I don't smell like ass. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's the majority of people on planet Earth who have ever taken a shower. They hop up in that bitch because they think they smell like pee pee poo poo and they want to stop smelling like pee pee poo poo. I, I don't know, bro. Maybe this guy wants to continue to smell like shit, piss and cum, but I do not. Well, James delved into the world of washing, exfoliating, and moisturizing in his book, Clean, which starts with the shock line, five years ago, I stopped showering. So hold up, you tell me that this guy didn't shower for five years so he could write a book about not showering for five years, and then went on an interview with this news place to talk about said book. So this dude just straight up didn't shower for five years so he could try and sell a book. That is the dumbest shit. Like this video was posted on September 20th, you know, back during COVID in 2020. So like people were actually doing some outlandish stuff. COVID times was crazy. And I actually feel kind of bad for the guy. He waited for the worst possible time to release this book. Like this video that we're watching came out in 2020, bro, at the end of 2020. So COVID was in full swing. And this man was wholeheartedly going on interviews on national news saying yeah guys don't wash your hands don't wash your booty hole it's actually better for you i wonder how many like brain dead soccer moms watched this on tv and was like hmm this is probably a really good idea while there's a deadly virus going around outside thank god for natural selection jesus christ i mean in relation to the experiment james what kind of feedback have you had in general it is one of the areas where we're still quick to really say, you know, that's disgusting or that's gross. Well, James turned his showers off gradually. I do not recommend that anyone do it cold turkey. Why are they talking about stopping showering? Like how a sponsor tells an alcoholic how to stop drinking. Yeah, man, you gotta wean yourself off. If you stop cold turkey, it, it could actually kill you. Like, bro, I do not want a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to stop showering. That is not something that I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like getting laid occasionally. I really don't want my junk to smell like moldy cheese every time I want to get my pee pee sucked. Look, I'm not a vagina person, but uh, women out there, uh, if, have you ever sucked a pee pee and it smelled like shit? If so, I am so sorry. Why is my cat screaming? <laughs> bro, even one of my cats is saying, take your nasty ass into the shower, bro. Honestly, I think that's exactly what happened. I think that one time he went to the bar, came home with a girl, and she was like, you know, it, get, it was getting frisky. He pulled his pants down. And it was literally like stink lines like from a cartoon. Girl rejected him. And then he went on a vendetta to prove that having a stinky penis is healthy. And that's, uh, that's why he wrote that book. He says if you spend between 20 to 30 minutes a day going through a morning shower ritual from beginning to end, you could be wasting two to three years of a 100 year life. Yeah, if I spend 3% of my life in the showers that I can, uh, I don't know, get bitches and look nice, I'm pretty sure that's a good trade off. Also, I'm mixed, so I have like really like tight, coily hair. If I don't wash this shit occasionally, it starts turning into one giant afro and I start looking like J. Cole during his homeless New York City era. This really is some white people shit. O only some crazy ass white nigga would come up and be like, hey, what happens if we just like didn't shower, yo? At the heart of James's book is a mission to get people to have a better understanding of the big picture when it comes to being clean. I'm pretty sure we all understand the big picture of hopping in the shower and getting clean. It's, um, getting clean. Like, this is the equivalent of making first graders take care of a plant as a science experiment. Oh my god, how do plants grow from the ground? We are not children. You are a grown-ass man trying to test to see whether or not showering works. Get a life. From extremely near minimalism where all you're doing is basically brushing your teeth and washing your hands and you know wiping dirt off your face or you know to elaborate rituals that people love <laughs> and they spend a lot of time and money on but really bring them a lot of value. Fellas is it unhealthy to have a good skincare routine? L let me know in the comments. I'm just saying like having a moisturizer and an astringent to make sure that your face looks good and healthy I, I feel like that's there's nothing too bad about that. I don't know man I'm not the doctor I, I, I just feel like making sure that your face ain't ashy is a pretty cool thing. But is that sense of value really worth it? The only thing I would suggest that you know we can do away with is the stuff that people are not enjoying that are taking up time and money and wasting plastic bottles and that they didn't need to be doing all along but was only sold to them through 
through marketing. Oh, you mean just like your book? Like this dude straight up didn't shower for five years is telling people, hey, all the skincare products you use, they're just marketing towards you to get you to spend money you don't need. I mean, yeah, no shit. That's like literally every product in existence. I mean, hell, have you seen the iPhones? They release the same goddamn phone every year, but make it like 0.3% faster and then charge an extra $200 every year for it. And this guy's doing the exact same thing with his book. He's like, hey, doing all this stuff has nothing of value to your life. You don't need to buy it. So you should buy my my useless product instead. Yeah, I'm sure buying your book will add so much value to my life. Our skin is a reflection of our overall health status, of our levels of anxiety, of how well we're sleeping. We all know this, and yet it's a lot easier to reach you know, for some topical solution. And that's it. That's the end of the video. He basically says that uh, if you're depressed and you're not sleeping, that's why you're ugly as shit and don't have a girlfriend. So you should also, on top of that, stop showering. The moral of this video is, uh, do you have no bitches? Do you really want to get some hoes on your dick? Then never shower again. 100% you'll get more coochie than Johnny sends. Nah, but seriously, if you guys enjoyed this video and agreed with anything I had to say, then uh, drop a fat like on it and subscribe if you're new. I would really appreciate that. Also, make sure to go over and follow the Twitch. I'm going to be streaming uh, here in a little bit after this video goes up. So come over to twitch.tv slash OG Lofi. Link in description and come say hi, dude. Seriously, though, I really hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I've been Lofi. Peace out, broskies.